Hello my dear friends today we are going to do MCQs on day 12th and it is on Amitav Ghosh who is famous Indian English writer in our earlier video we have done Indian English writer Kamala Das and uh, today we are doing Amitav Ghosh and uh, this series will continue because till now we have completed English writers and uh, American writers but now we are doing Indian English writers so please be focused and uh, keep revising earlier videos as well. Let's begin. Question number one. Amitav Ghosh is an dash writer. Option A British, Option B American, Option C African and Option D Indian. So it is Option D. He is an Indian English writer. Let's see the highlighters. Amitav Ghosh is an Indian writer and the winner of 54th Janapit Award, best known for his work in English fiction. He was born on 11th July 1956 in Kolkata, West Bengal, India. Question number two. Who is, sorry, what is profession of Amitav Ghosh's spouse, Deborah Baker? Option A, dancer. Option B, author. Option C, player. And option D, singer. She is an author just like Amitav Ghosh. Let's see the highlighters. Amitav Ghosh is an Indian writer and the winner of Janapit Award, 54th Janapit Award, best known for his work in English fiction. He was born on 11th July 1956 in Kolkata, West Bengal, India. Ghosh is the author of The Circle of Reason, The Shadow Lines, The Calcutta Chromosome, The Glass Palace, The Hungry Tide. Question number three. Which novel of Amitav Ghosh won him the Sahitya Academy Award? Option A, The Circle of Reason. Option B, The Shadow Line. Option C, The Calcutta Chromosome. Option D, In an Antique Land. Here, option B is the correct answer, The Shadow Line. The Shadow Lines, which was published in 1988, is a Sahitya Academy Award winning novel by Indian writer Amitav Ghosh. It is a book that captures perspectives of time and events of lines that bring people together and hold them apart. Lines that are clearly visible from one perspective. The novel is set against the backdrop of historical events like the Swadeshi movement, Second World War, Partition of India and Communal riots of 1963-64 in Dhaka and Calcutta. The novel earned Ghosh the 1989 Sahitya Academy Award for English by the Sahitya Academy, India's National Academy of Letters. The novel was translated by Shalini Topiwala into Gujarati in 1998. Question number four. In which year Amitav was shortlisted for Man Booker Prize? Option A, 2010. Option B, 2009. Option C, 2012. And option D, 2008. So here, correct option is 2008. Amitav Ghosh was shortlisted for Man Booker Prize in the year 2008. Let's see the highlighters. Amitav Ghosh today emerged as the only Indian author among 10 finalists for this year's Man Booker International Prize for his contribution to the English language writing. Ghosh had narrowly missed out on the Booker Prize back in 2008 when he was shortlisted for his work Sea of Poppies. Friends, please remember this one. Okay, he had received Janapit Award for the Shadow Lines and 
he was nominated for booker prize man booker prize because of this work sea of poppies question number 5 diti the main character is from which novel of ghosh option a sea of poppies option b the hungry tide option c keeping guessing keep guessing option d countdown here option a is correct that is she of poppies in this work we find the character diti sea of poppies was published in 2008 is a novel by indian novelist amitav ghosh which was shortlisted for the man booker prize in 2008 it is the first volume of the ibis trilogy the main characters include diti an ordinary village woman and octoroon american sailor named jachari raid an indian raja or zamindar called neel nathan halder and benjamin burham an evangelist opium trader the story is set prior to the first opium war on the bank of the holy river ganges and ganges in calcutta the author compares the ganges to the nile the lifeline of egyptian civilization attributing the provenance and growth of these civilizations to these selfless ever flowing bodies sea of poppies won the 2008 vodafone crossword book award for fiction it won the 2008 british book design and production award sea of poppies also won the india plaza golden quill popular vote award in 2009 it also received the prestigious tagore literature award awarded by sahitya academy in 2012 question number 6 which of the following book is not part of ibis trilogy written by amitav ghosh option a river of smoke option b c of puppies option c option c the hungry tide and option d flood of fire so here it is the hungry tide which is not the book included in ibis trilogy let's see the highlighters the hungry tide which was published in 2004 is the sixth novel by indian born author amitav ghosh it was published in 2004 It won the 2004 Hutch Crossword Book Award for Fiction. The novel won the 2004 Crossword Book Prize and was among the final nominees for the 2006 Kiriyama Prize. Question number 7 Setting place of the Glass Palace. Option A Pakistan China India. Option B Burma India and Malaya. option c sri lanka india and option d bangladesh nepal and india so here the correct answer is option b that is burma india and malaya the setting of the glass palace is burma india and malaya the glass palace is a 2000 historical novel by indian writer amitabh ghosh The novel set in Burma, Bengal, India and Malaya spans a century from the British invasion of Burma and the subsequent fall of the Kongbong dynasty in Mandalay through the Second World War to late 20th century. The name of the novel derives from the Glass Palace Chronicles. which is an old burmese historical work commissioned by king baji dau in 1829 the novel starts with a 11 year old boy called rajkumar running through the city of mandalay to find a woman called machu 
क्वेश्चन नंबर एट द नॉवल ऑफ अमिताभ घोष पब्लिश इन टू विच नॉवल इज दैट इट इज इज इट रिवर ऑफ स्मोक ऑप्शन बी द शेडो लाइन्स ऑप्शन सी द ग्लास पैलेस ऑप्शन डी सी ऑफ पॉपीज सो द नॉवल ऑफ अमिताभ घोष दैट वॉज पब्लिश्ड इन टू थाउजेंड एंड इलेवन इज रिवर ऑफ स्मोक रिवर ऑफ स्मोक इज अ नॉवल बाय इंडियन नॉवलिस्ट अमिताभ घोष इट इज द सेकेंड वॉल्यूम ऑफ द इबीस ट्रिलॉजी इट इज पब्लिश ऑन एटीन जून टू थाउजेंड एंड इलेवन Let's move to next question. Question number nine: Which of the, which is the debut novel of Kush? Option A: Sea of Poppies. Option B: Countdown. Option C: The Circle of Reasons. Option D: The Hungry Tide. So here, the first novel of Amitabh Kush was The Circle of Reason. The Circle of Reason if the first novel by, is the first novel by Indian writer Amitabh Ghosh written in 1986 The Circle of Reason is Ghosh's debut novel it was published in 1986 The story revolves around Alu and Orphan and his journey which spans across many years and continents The Circle of Reason won the prestigious Prix Médicis en Transin of French Literary Award in 1990. Question number 10 Which of the following work is not written by Amitabh Ghosh The Jig Jag Way option B Countdown option C The Imam and the Indian option D Flood of Fire So here Correct answer is the zigzag way, which is not the work of Amitabh Ghosh. The zigzag way is a 2004 novel by Anita Ghosh, Anita Desai. The novel is about an American academic and writer goes with his girlfriend to Mexico and recovers his passion of fiction writing. Question number eleven: How many total parts are set in the great derangement, climate change, and unthinkable? Option A: three parts. Option B: two parts. Option C: four parts. And option D: five parts. So here, in the great derangement, climate change, and unthinkable work, it has three parts. Let's see the highlighters about the answer. The great derangement climate change and the unthinkable is a non-fiction book addressing climate change by Indian writer Amitabh Ghosh published in 2016 the book is composed of three parts first part title stories part 2 covers history and part 3 politics the first part stories explores why the modern novel struggles as an art form to describe and grapple with the concept of climate change the second part that is history it here ghost highlights the role of colonialism in the climate crisis the third part that is politics ghost notes that activists who single out capitalism as the systemic driver of climate change miss an important element imperialism ghosh ties these three parts together with a comparison between the paris agreement and pope francis 2015 encyclical on climate change let's move to question number 12 in which newspaper did he get job first time option a the hindu option b the telegraph option c the times of india and option d indian express so here it is indian express where amitabh ghosh got job for the first time amitabh ghosh first job was the indian express newspaper in new delhi he has been a fellow at the center of studies in social sciences calcutta and centers for development studies in Tri- trivandrum 
In 1999, Ghosh joined the faculty at Queens College, City University of New York, a distinguished professor in comparative literature. He has also been a visiting professor at the English departments of Harvard University since 2005. In which year was he honored by Padma Shri? 2003, 2005, 2007 and 2009. So here correct answer is 2007. In the year 2007 he was honored by prestigious award Padma Shri. Amitav Ghosh was awarded the Padma Shri by the Indian government in 2007. In 2009, he was elected a fellow of the Royal Society of Literature. In 2015, Ghosh was named a Ford Foundation Art of Change Fellow. Question number 14. In which year did write the Calcutta chromosome? In which year did Amitav Ghosh write the Calcutta chromosome? Option A, 1999. Option B, 1997. Option C, 1996. Option D, 1995. So it is 1995 that he had written the Calcutta chromosome. The Calcutta chromosome is a 1995 English language novel by Indian author Amitav Ghosh. The book set in 1990s, Calcutta and New York City at same specified time in the future is a medical thriller that dramatizes the adventures of people who are brought together by a mysterious turn of events. Let's move to question number 15. When Amitav Ghosh was born? Option A 11th July 1956, Option B 11th June 1953, Option C 11th July, sorry, 11th January 1959 and Option D 9th July 1960. So here correct option is the first one that is 11th July 1956 was the date when he was born. Question number 16, Amitav in an antique land belongs to what genre? Option A fiction, option B non-fiction, option C novel and option D essays. Here it is, it belongs to non-fiction category. Ghosh notable non-fiction writings are In an Antique Land which was published in 1992. Next was Dancing in Cambodia and at large in Burma, which was published in 1998. Next was Countdown 1999 and The Imam and the Indian, which was published in 2002, a large collection of essays. In an Antique Land is an anthography written in narrative form by the Indian writer Amitav Ghosh. The book contains two narratives. The first, an anthropological narrative, revolves around two visits made by Ghosh to two villages in the Nile Delta while he was writing his doctoral dissertation in the year 1980 and 81 and again a few years later, 1988. In the second narrative, presented parallel to the first one in the book, Ghosh reconstructs the history of a 12th century Jewish merchant, Abraham ben Yizu, and his slaves, Ashu and Boma, using documents from the Cairo Geniza. Question number 17. Which of the following is not correct publication date of Ghosh books? Option A. The Hungry Tide, 2004. Option B, Keep Guessing, 2010. Option C, Countdown, 1996. And Option D, The Calcutta Chromosome, 1995. So, this publication date is not correct, that is 1996. Let's see the correct answer. 
Ghosh notable non-fiction writings are In an Antique Land which was published in 1992 Next was Dancing in Cambodia and at Large in Burma 1998 Countdown was published in the year 1999 and The Imam and the Indian was published in 2002 which was a collection of essays so the option which is given out here that is 1996 is not correct okay it is 1999 you can remember it easily it is 999 okay question number 18 the shadow line is based on option a social events option b historical events option c political events and option d environment so it is question number oh sorry option b that is historical events which is um on which the shadow line is based the shadow lines was published in the year 1988 is a sahitya academy award winning novel by indian writer amitav ghosh it is a book that captures perspective of time and event of lines that bring people together and hold them apart lines that are clearly visible from the perspective from one perspective The novel is set against the backdrop of historical events like the Swadeshi movement, Second World War, partition of India and communal riots of 1963-64 in Dhaka and Calcutta. Question number 19, where was Ghosh born? Option A Calcutta, option B Hubli, option C New Delhi and option D Siliguri. So it said it is Calcutta where he was born Highlighter says Amitav Ghosh is an Indian writer and the winner of the 50, 54th Janapit award best known for his work in English fiction He was born on 11th July 1956 in Calcutta West Bengal India Question number 20 for which book did he win Sahitya Academy Award and the Ananda Puraskar It is option A is the Circle of Reason option B the Calcutta chromosome option C the shadow lines option D the hungry tide So here the answer is option C the shadow lines for which he received two awards that is Sahitya Academy Award and Ananda Puraskar The Shadow Lines which was published in 1988 is a Sahitya Academy award winning novel by Indian writer Amitav Ghosh. It is a book that captures perspective of time and event of lines that bring people together and hold them apart. Lines that are clearly visible from one perspective. The novel is set against the backdrop of historical event like the swadeshi movement second world war partition of india and communal riots of 1963-64 in dhaka and calcutta the novel earned ghosh the 1989 sahitya academy award for english by the sahitya academy india's national academy of letters the novel was translated by shalini topiwala into gujarati in 1998 friends by this we have completed imported mcqs on amitav ghosh if you require pdf of all the writers then you can contact us we will provide entire writers details in pdf form so do let us know and not only that you have to revise all the mcqs one by one to prepare yourselves for the examination till then we meet take care bye bye and happy studying